and welcome to another video from tradingfootball.eu and this time we're looking at how to trade the multiple market uh, on Betfair. Um, what we've selected here are five lay bets and two win banker bets and we can see there that Genk against Videotron and Hapoel Tel Aviv versus Atletico Madrid are our uh, bank bets and um, all the other five lay bets uh, we want them to actually lose so what that means is we've got sort of two bites of the cherry so Fenerbahce Marseille um, can either be a win to Marseille or a draw so that's the trade and let's uh, for a clear explanation um, see how it all goes we've opened up um, the Geeks toy an API trading software and we're going to be opening up uh, quite a few other windows too so before you do this trade or in fact any other trade um, just make sure that you're completely set up uh, with all the windows that you need open and these will include maybe your API software um, as you can see here uh, the flash score that will give you a, a quick um, indication of how the scores are going um, I've actually opened up two Betfair windows. Um, one is for the Europa League um, in-play coupon. Hopefully we can see this in uh, just a moment. We've also got the tradingfootball.eu chat room open. This is where we discuss our trades and manage our trades and the person who is leading a particular trade in this case it happens to be me bingo uh, will post instructions and in this uh, chat room box there we have a second betfair window open that gives you the uh, all the europa league matches so that is kind of very helpful for us we can see uh, at a glance um, when a match is suspended and with this trade the fact that we're covering um, seven matches um, we need to be pretty well focused and pretty well prepared um, for how the uh, matches all pan out and our first one there Copenhagen against Mould is suspended this was after about 15 minutes and that's good Copenhagen take the lead um, Mould was one of our lay bets Bear in mind, just to repeat this particular multiples trade, we've staked basically £10 um, with a potential profit of £95. And we need to bear that potential profit figure in mind, as we'll see later, when if any of these matches seems to be going against us, um, we can use other markets uh, to try and minimise our losses or indeed get out of any kind of trouble and we'll see that uh, later on in this video um, how in fact we managed to do that and just to repeat again um, that these lay bets we want all of them to win i.e. we want our lay bets uh, to win and that is um, mold the game we just looked at there um, we don't want them to win we don't want Fenerbahce to win we don't want AIK against Napoli to win we don't want Udinese to win. The video is about 30 minutes in length, so um, I've done a, a, a fair bit of editing, um, but if there are any sort of pauses or gaps in the audio commentary, um, then uh, my apologies for this. Um, but uh, So bear with it. Um, it. It's quite an interesting uh, trade and um, it's an interesting exercise um, as a different way um, to trade football uh, on the betting exchanges now it's 1-0 to Copenhagen and what we want to do here is cover a mould win so we've backed 1-2 for £2 at 38.0 and that gives us um, a potential £74 green um, on the 1-2 scoreline Napoli uh, one of our other games that's again good news they've taken the lead against AIK 
and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to back 1, 2 in case of an AIK win. And we're going to back that for £2 again at 34s. I'm trying for 38s here. Not too sure if I'll get that. This is one of our banker win bets, so we need Atletico Madrid to win here. And after about 20 minutes, um, it's still nil-nil, so we need to keep our eye on that one. Fenerbahce Marseille. Again, we want either a Marseille win or a draw. Keep your eye on this game. Um, this actually proved to be um, our, our dodgy one. This uh, particular game didn't go the way I wanted. And in fact, they scored. So Fenerbahce took the lead in the first half. So it's 1-0. So as it stands, um, that particular game is something uh, that we're going to have to deal with. And I'll show you um, throughout this video um, how it's a point to bear in mind that um, whatever kind of trade you're doing, um, you must always pre-match um, decide what it is you're going to do should the trade go against you. So in other words, it's all very well looking at the positives, but you have to look at the negative too. You know, what do I do if it goes wrong? And in the Fenerbahce Marseille game, um, it went wrong. But there was a particular strategy or a plan that I had in mind uh, pre-match uh, of how to deal with that. Copenhagen still 1-0. Udinese, we can see there from the match odds, it's still 0-0 there. The Genk, Videotron and Inter, Rubin, Kazan games, um, they were played two hours later at 8 o'clock. Um, all the other five games uh, kicked off at uh, 1800, 6 o'clock uh, UK time. Uh, one member there in the chat room you can see was sort of asking for a little clarification as to what this multiple bet was all about. Um, <laughs> It was rather easier to kind of, uh, hopefully, to see in the video exactly um, what it's all about. Um, sort of trying to text explain in the chat room um, what all the uh, implications were were a little bit, a uh, little bit difficult. Um, but it was uh, something that um, we kind of talked about a bit later on in the chat room, um, and that is, you know, your style of trading. You know, what is it? I mean, this particular trade here, some of you might look at it and look at it and think, uh, well, that's that's just not for me. It just seems a little bit too complex or there's sort of too much sort of mathematics that are going on. Others prefer a, a more simple um, trading approach. And uh, tradingfootball.eu, I mean, we have um, over 18 different kind of strategies. Um, hopefully uh, to suit everyone's taste. But the, the important point to bear in mind is, is you know, try out um, all the various options, all the different strategies that, that, that are available. And after a while you'll find, you know, there's a particular way of trading um, that, that, that you will develop and, and you will, in the end, you will have your own particular style and your own favourite uh, particular strategies. There's a quick review from Flash Score to see where we are exactly. And this is sort of 35 minutes um, into the first half, and we can see that Fenerbahce uh, is still our um, problem game here. Uh, some interesting things going on in the Young Boys Against Liverpool game. 2-1 to Liverpool after 41 minutes. And that game, if you were trading it, we weren't, but if, if you were trading it, that was a real roller coaster uh, of, of a game. Always with hindsight, um, it would have been uh, 
a very tasty thing to have backed 3-3 at 100 to 1 in that particular game. Uh, the final score, in fact, um, ended up 5-3 um, to Liverpool. And we can see from the flash score there, um, sort of just about in the middle of the screen, Atletico Madrid uh, are now 2 0 up, which is good news for us because that was one of our banker bets. Copenhagen still leading 1 0, Napoli still leading 1 0, Udinese still 0 0. So all looking good uh, except for this Fenerbahce. So we're coming up to half time. Um, and still 1-0 at Fenerbahce Marseille um, so we're going to have to think about trying to cover ourselves here with some insurance so we're going to be looking at the correct score market and we're going to be backing um, some scores here and remember uh, just repeat again that what we ideally want is a draw or a Marseille win so we're going to have to cover um, some correct scores uh, for Fenerbahce now we can afford um, to do this um, you know take out insurance why well because we stated at the beginning of uh, this video uh, our stake was ten pounds I mean that was what we could lose um, our potential profit uh, was £95. So what we can ideally do uh, is in fact sort of spend some of that potential profit uh, and that's what um, we're going to do certainly with the Fenerbahce game and as we'll see later on in the video uh, that's what we'll also do in the uh, Genk Videotron and Inter against Ruben Kazan games as well. Now, what's happened in Copenhagen? Mold, Molder, from Norway, have equalised. Now, that's kind of quite handy for us because we've got um, the one-two covered, um, and the one-all, uh, if it stays a draw, is still a winner for us because we've laid Molder. Um, over in Udinese, uh, the Russians, Anzai have taken the lead which is again what exactly what we want so we're applying the same tactic as in the Copenhagen Molder game and we're going to back 2-1 to Udinese one all is still a winner for us because we've laid Udinese uh, and a win for the Russians is also um, what we would like so we're taking some insurance and backing 2-1 here um, for two pounds at round about 18.519s, um, I didn't actually get that, um, so I th I'm doing this commentary. In fact, sort of after the um, uh, final uh, whistle went on all the games, so um, I believe I got 16.5 in the end uh, about the 2-1 Udinese score. And what's uh, good about um, taking this 2-1 uh, score line? when you've laid uh, the particular team um, is that you're going to get quite a good price about it um, Molder we got 38 uh, about 2-1 so that gave us a sort of a 74 pound potential green so a goal to Mold even though that would actually scupper our uh, multiple bet um, it would actually give us a very nice return um, should it go to 1-2 uh, and the same principle applies in the Udinese game. Uh, should it go to 2-1, um, then we've got uh, round about so what, 40, 50 pounds green on that particular score line there. Which of course we can always lay off should we need to. Over in Fenerbahce, I remember I was saying that we're going to have to back some Fenerbahce scores and this is where we're going to have to start spending some serious money. So we're backed 1-0 for £5, 2-0 for £4, 
and 2-1 for £2.50. This is a quick shot um, of our um, forum over at the tradingfootball.eu site. Uh, this is a video that I made uh, earlier to explain in more detail um, how you place your bets on the multiple market. Um, that video is available on the forum and on YouTube. The video you're watching now um, is a, basically how the trade went and what the result finally was. Okay, we're trying to get uh, matched. Um, on Fenerbahce, um, who in fact have taken uh, uh, scored a further goal, so it's now 2 0 to Fenerbahce. And that is certainly not very good news for us, so we've had to back um, additional score lines there of 3 0 and 3 1. Not looking particularly great for the multiple. But we have got some insurance uh, on sort of two or three uh, of the game so far. Um, that insurance there we can see on mould of the 1-2 score line. That is going to disappear. Let's Copenhagen score and take a 2-1 lead. At that particular point I wouldn't have minded if mould had scored. Because then I, it's about sort of 75 minutes in, I could have laid that at even money uh, and greened up for £35. And that would have covered our £10 multiple stake, uh, plus um, uh, the other liabilities we've got on the Fenerbahce game. Now, 82, 83 minutes and a glimmer of hope as Marseille pull a goal back. Now we've got um, some cover there on 2-1, not a lot, but it's, it's better than £22 liability there. So we're sort of trying to claw a little bit back, and then in the 90th minute, as the video winds on fairly quickly, uh, Marseille score an injury time um, to give us uh, a win uh, on the Fenerbahce trade. Uh, and in fact, all our five lay bets uh, have now been successful. The lay of Molder was, Mold was okay, the lay of Fenerbahce was okay, Atletico Madrid won 3 0, Napoli uh, won, so our lay of AIK was okay, and Udinese finished 1 1, so our lay of Udinese was okay too. So we're going to sort of take a break, um, and we then we'll move on to our final two games which is Genk against Videotron, and that particular game was our, one of our bankers, so we need Genk to win. And the other game was Inter Milan versus Rubin Kazan of Russia. And we want either a draw or an Inter win there. Now this is where it gets sort of slightly tricky, because we know the results now of our previous five games, um, and we've now got to take some insurance uh, action on our final two games. Um, if these two games were staggered, i.e. the kickoffs were at a different time, um, that would help me a lot in determining exactly what action I need to take. Uh, I don't have that luxury, unfortunately, um, so I'm going to have to, pre-kickoff, lay Genk. I'm laying them for £25 at 1.67. Now remember, I want Genk to win. A draw or a Videotron, Videotron win won't do me any good at all. So I'm taking some cover. So I've got a £17 liability now on Genk and £25 on Videotron or the draw. Same principle in the inter Ruben Kazan game. I need to take some insurance. What I need here is either an inter win or a draw. So I'm going to back uh, Rubin Kazan. Got 
so many windows open here that uh, the loading time is taking a bit longer than I really, really want. Okay, so here we are, back on the match odds of Inter against Rubin. Um, you can see the price to back there is 4.3. Um, just a, as a quick um, tip for you, don't take the first price on offer. Um, just just you know, move your price up a little bit. Um, very often um, you, you can get matched. Uh, if not, okay, there's no harm done. Just uh, drop it down a few ticks to uh, exactly what odds are, are available. So I'm aiming for about 4.5 here. And I'm going to back this for 12 pounds or 10 pounds. Let's have a look. Of course, if you notice in the uh, chat room box there on the left of the screen, um, it's not just this multiple trade uh, that I'm doing. Um, there's Adster, uh, who's also um, suggesting sort of in-play trades. He's looking at uh, Leon Sparta. He's doing a Clint strategy in that one. Gundolf, he's uh, always available to apply his magical eye on a scattergun strategy. Ably supported by Irony Pirate, who also favours the SG trade. Okay, so I've sort of waited for the market to settle a little bit uh, in the inter game. So I'm backing Rubin here at uh, 4.5 for £10. So what I'm doing all the time here um, is spending. Uh, if you like, some of that potential £95 profit. Um, now I'll get that £95, £95 profit, um, which is uh, what? Uh, you know, that's a thousand percent, isn't it? Uh, return on investment. Um, if um, Inter is uh, a win or a draw, and Genk win their game, um, but I'm not going to rely on that, so I'm going to have to take some cover, take out some insurance and spend some of that potential 95 quid. So as with any kind of trade that you're doing, uh, your first priority is to uh, try and protect your bank and to limit uh, your liabilities. there in the <coughs> chat room um, I'm just posting uh, a sort of an up-to-date view of um, how we stand and quite early on after about 20 minutes um, Rubin get a penalty again not ideal um, obviously we preferred Inter um, but because we took some of that uh, evasive insurance action uh, before the kickoff we've got uh, 30, £35 green on that um, so um, expecting that Inter um, who were who were favourites and playing at home for this game um, would get back into the game 
uh, we can now lay Rubin at 2.8, 2.08, we backed it, uh, remember, at 4.5, so we can clear uh, red there on the, on the match odds. Back over to Genk, who are still leading 1 0. We'll lay them again for £25. So that takes our liability there now on Genk to £22 and £50 green on Videotron or the draw. Inter have equalised. Good news for us. So what we want to do is go back to that game. And back Rubin at around right about 4.8, 4.5. So let's back Rubin here for five pounds. So that now takes our green on Rubin to 70, our liability on Inter and the draw to 12, red. And in Genk, we've got a similar position. We've got with £70 on Videotron and the draw. And here is the final result.